the good of a society is defined by how we treat the most vulnerable, and foster children are among the most vulnerable. Women would really benefit and enjoy and flourish working with other women toward a purposeful goal. You have to do the small things, and it's the small things that matter. No amount of love you ever give a child could be wasted. Love is never wasted. I needed to be protected from my bio mother who had a lot of mental illnesses and was um, consistently unstable um, and uh, had uh, relationships with abusive men so um, I was a child that got involved with that. Finding a long-term placement initially was hard. Uh, my case was a lot to handle but I finally um, was fortunate enough to be placed in a home with an older woman, Jenny, who I still call grandma to this day, and her daughter. It was really nice going into that home because it was two women, and coming from um, my experience with my bio family, having two women was very comforting, and um, the daughter ended up taking on a mother role to me, and I call her my number two mom. The first year was really hard. We put heads a lot. Um, I just didn't want to trust anybody. Um, but after that, it became family, and I still communicate with them. I still visit and go to holiday events. Honestly, I, I'm not certain of the whole story. What I do know is that my biological mother had me when she was 17. She lived in a foster home at that time, and I eventually came to live in that same foster home. The hows and the whats and the whys, I can't say. I remember my son asking me where my family was. He said, how can anybody not want you? Mom, are you kidding me? And he said, how come I'm not a nephew or a grandson or a cousin? And I remember the shame. And I thought, you know what? There was a woman who once loved me. Sure, Mom, whatever you say, where is she now? And I said, you know what? I'm going to prove it to you. So I decided I have to work through this. I, I need to, I, I'm stuck emotionally. I need to move through this so that I can take him beyond this point, so that we can both go beyond this point. And so I, I, I called the Department of Social Services and requested my file. But when I got this file and I saw, oh my heavens, these letters, dear sweetheart, dear sunshine, dear pumpkin, so it's like, I have right, I have, I have a heritage to these memories, they're mine. So I decided I have to compile these, these memories as best I can for my goal. I grew up in a family that um, had a lot of mental health challenges and I always felt unsafe and um, wanted a, a, different, a different life. Um, I wasn't able to uh, find that different life until I was a young teenager. And at that point, I, I left home. Um, I was a runaway and lived on the streets, but I was for a very short period of time. And I was very fortunate to find uh, support. And there was a, a counseling group that helped me get into foster care. I think that's hard for people who have never been in foster care to understand how vulnerable you feel when you're in that system and how you feel like you don't have a place. That there's no, there's no place that you can always go to when you, when you need support, when you need love. 
the fact that those people were there for me at that moment when I needed them, that allowed me to move forward and be, um, become the person that I am today. And I'm so grateful to them for all that they did. United Way's uh, Women in Philanthropy Group is an amazing group of women. We recognize that there was a huge uh, disparity between foster children and children who had families and mentors, but we didn't feel we could take on that entire population. And so we decided to take a slice, the emancipating foster youth. Having that laser focus on that moment in time when a child is on the razor's edge between um, um, survival and not surviving. I wanted to make a difference, work with other women, find a focus to um, change the lives of these kids who have been struggling. And you probably won't find another opportunity with as broad a group of women to network, to share passions with, and hopefully then launch these young people into a successful adulthood. It actually helps us um, connect and give something back to us in ways that almost nothing else does. coming here and working with us, like some of the girls in there, we really like look up to, to some of the stuff that they did for us. Like we really appreciate it. Like we need some kind of fix, somebody to lead us down a road. Not the bad one, but a good one. Uh, I just want to thank them for all they're doing and uh, just letting them know that they are making a difference in a lot of youth's lives today. And just let them know that, you know, what they're doing is great and to continue it. If a few women could have an idea of, of wanting to make a difference in these children's lives, oh my God, oh my God. I was inspired, I was touched, I was moved. Interesting enough, thinking about all the people that influenced me and really supported me throughout my time, they're all women, and they all took that mother figure um, in my life. Having had an opportunity to work with emancipating foster youth during the 10 years, I think the one thing they really need in their lives is someone that they can turn to. Whether it's a mentor, a teacher, a friend, and I, I can honestly say the people who get involved in this program are all of those things. These are very strong human beings that have had just incredible obstacles thrown at them and why wouldn't we do everything in our power to reach out a helping hand to get them um, to that next level. They have it within them and they deserve every opportunity to become whatever they want. When I think about the difference that one person can make in the life of, of a child or the difference that one person's generosity can make in giving services to someone in need, then I understand the power, the power of being part of an organization like this. And, you know, that's really what we all want in our life. We really want to make a difference. We want to make the world that we live in a better place. And that's what United Way allows women to do. And you may never know the life that you saved. You may never see all of the impact but it's important that people understand that this is the safety net that they're creating. This is the way that they are making the world a kinder place, a safer place, and a better place.